Hi everyone, I'm going to do an art journal page today and there are some updates. There is a surprise at the end with the giveaway. So I hope you'll st stick around. Okay, so this is one of uh, my large uh, journals, just uh, pages that I took out of a pad and uh, glued back to back, 240 gram paper. And I'm going to start by uh, stamping on it. And I'm going to use some of my stamps that I uh, made from Craft Foam. And let's see, maybe some swirly thing. And this one, I don't know. Uh, it's really <laughs> um, something I decided uh, last minute. I was uh, preparing to do some other art journal page with some a uh, more vintage look, and just because things change, and I wanted some bright colors i changed my mind and that's what i'm doing today i'm taking black acrylic paint and i'm putting it here on a craft foam just because it's easier to spread and then use the stamps uh, the st this stamp is as i said from craft foam and it's made freehand just by making indentation either with stylus or you can use regular pen to do it and this one i just cut the shape out of a craft foam that's it so i'm just going to spread the black paint on the craft foam and i'm going to use the stamp and i'm not looking for anything perfect just some details in the back this is just the start as you can see I'm really don't care what's going to be with it most of it is gonna get covered so I really don't care let's move this maybe here one and I'm keeping the black to the edges because I don't want it to interfere with whatever I will choose to use in the foreground uh, my focal point so as I said looking to do some I'm thinking this is too big and let's find something yeah this is a smaller swirly stamp I need more paint some uh, use the barrier um, on top of the directly on top of the stamp I don't like to do it I like to work like this up to you what is what feels like better way to do it Yeah. And I don't care if I'm making a mess. Yeah. And maybe one more somewhere maybe here I hope I'm in frame it's quite large so I had a problem with uh, where I've put my, the camera okay I don't know just playing yeah that's enough okay so finished with this I can remove the craft foam and the brayer probably should clean it on something 
let's see as I said I'm not completely uh, organized today this was last moment thing I was planning first I was planning to do to go live on Saturday night and of course things escalated here so and between Saturday night and Sunday morning I didn't do anything we just uh, stayed awake waiting for ballistic missiles to drop on my on our heads so that was lovely still breathing still living thanks for everyone who checked in to see if I'm okay I'm okay as you can see so that was uh, something to go through and I've picked some bright colors I've got magenta yellow and blue I've also got white I'm not sure if I will use and how I'm going to go about it I'm just putting some on this another a uh, craft foam mat just because it's easy that's it not using a bread it just was easy to pick one okay so I'm taking a, a large brush because I'm just going to start spreading paint smearing paint wherever it goes I really don't care so I'm uh, taking a brush with water because I want the my paint to be well translucent I don't want it opaque I want some of the details that I stamp to uh, show through and also it will uh, just be easier uh, to blend and I don't know that's it <laughs> so as you can see just smearing paint willy-nilly don't care some of the black paint is not completely dry again I don't care whatever will be will be it's even a cheap paint from the cheap store so and moving to the magenta I'm not even cleaning my brush I'm letting it uh, mix a little bit with the yellow so I'm getting in between shades whatever happens happens don't care okay almost done with the magenta maybe also here I'm not sure just playing anyone can do it no technique needed okay moving on to the blue this needs a little bit more water letting it mix so I'm getting in between colors which is great I'm really I'm re <laughs> I really don't know what's going to be with this page quick about it as you can see now if you want a more blended look just take a baby wipe and do the same thing and it will help you blend in between the colors I really don't care Ok, 
Okay, almost just trying to cover white that is left and I'm thinking just putting down a little bit more yellow and letting it mix with parts of the blue so I'm getting some green in between as long as everything is way wet is it's still easy to to blend mm. I can do a little bit more here yeah so yeah I've got some very colorful background okay so waiting for this to dry before I'm doing anything I'm uh, going to I want to a stencil on all of this page with white I'm going to pick some stencil don't know yet what but this needs to dry first I'll be back okay so background is dry and I'm still working on the background I'm still not at the focal point I thought I would use a large stencil of a mandala, like one here, one here, and then I, again, I changed my mind. This is one of the stencils that I made. I've cut it out of a 12 by 12 uh, paper that I didn't like, and I'm going to use, I'm thinking this one, and just going with white, and I've put here a little bit of green to add to the white as I go along. Of course, because it's just this one branch, it will take it will take me quite some time to do all of the all over the page. But I think it's worth it. So I'm starting with just the white. I'm taking a makeup sponge. I use this kind of uh, sponges, not the the triangle uh, ones, because these are a little bit more dense and are more comfortable to hold. And when the paint is dry I just cut it and uh, use it again so I'm just taking white acrylic paint dabbing the excess and I'm starting stenciling I'm not sure if I'm in, in frame but I will be in a minute <laughs> at least I think so I'm I just moved the journal so it will be a little bit easier for me to work on and right now I'm just using the white I want to add the um, green accent only after I'm doing the white and very light hint of the green and again this is completely part of the background now I'm taking a little bit of the green and dabbing it into the white and now I'm just dabbing it very lightly I'm not sure how much of it you can see but I'm adding a little hint of the green in some places just so it won't be a complete white so here is one and of course what I'm going to do is just I want to go all over the page and continue doing the same thing so I'm going oh I've just picked another branch no it doesn't matter maybe it would be more interesting <laughs> to have a two types of branches with different leaves so again I'm just doing the same thing using the white And after I'm finished with the white, I'm going to add a little bit of the green. 
once again not all over just in some of the places so it won't be one solid color yeah okay so i'm going to do this the same thing over and over again all over the page so i'll be back when i'm finished okay so finished uh, making the background now i'm going for a uh, the next phase <laughs> which is stenciling lots and lots of dragonflies on my page which are basically my focal point and i'm going to stencil them with black acrylic paint i'm thinking maybe afterwards i will go around and use maybe a gel roll pen or something some kind of marker either white or gold to just make a, the dragonflies more a pop on the page but otherwise that's a just what I'm planning now this whole page is not planned I just wanted to smear paint and that's what I've done and I'm just deciding on the next steps as I go along so as you can see I'm just going and stenciling I'm keeping the large uh, dragonfly to the center of the page and I'm thinking of stenciling the smaller ones all around it not sure if i will use all of them or some of them and i'm also thinking of going around the edges of my page and darkening it either way this the sponge and the black acrylic paint or i will use some ink i'm not sure yet okay so i like it moving on uh, i'm thinking how do i like want my uh, dragonflies if i want them scattered and going all directions or if uh, a swarm <laughs> of dragonflies going like this i'm not sure um, I think I'll just uh, play with the placement each time and see as I go along how it looks. So this is quite boring watching me stencil with black paint. <laughs> just going over and over and sometimes you need a second layer for when you are stenciling for something to show um, maybe a little bit out of the edges yeah okay so i'm just playing as i said with the placement and maybe i'm really not sure okay i'm stenciling this one here whatever will be will be the only things that matter is that I had fun making it. I know there is a lot of detail here uh, with the leaves in the background and all the parts of the dragonflies, but I don't care. I'm thinking again maybe I'll do some contour lines with gold around uh, the dragonflies maybe I will use black marker to connect some of the shapes 
of each dragonfly just to make it more uh, prominent on the page. I really don't know yet. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do one going that direction. The only thing is that if you want to use any kind of marker to do something to your stencil, just wait for everything to dry. I have ruined so many <laughs> a marker just by not being patient, waiting for everything to dry. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just playing until I like what I see. Okay. So... I'm thinking I'll just continue stenciling and what I said I'm just going around the edges with the black sponge I'm not precise I'm not careful I'm just going and darkening the edges of my page like so and I'm going to come back when I'm finished stenciling because doing the same thing over and over again is quite boring i'll be back okay so i've already uh, done <laughs> what i needed to do to the dragonflies i left only this one so i can then demonstrate what i'm doing i decided to go with a black permanent marker this is a plain one from the cheap store uh, for DVDs and CDs and where I thought it needs connecting that's what I've done I've connected mostly the body of the dragonfly again this is up to you the fact that uh, you have a stencil it doesn't mean it's set in a stone you can change whatever you like if you feel it needs more definition so that's what I've done. So first of all, just connected the shapes that create the dragonfly body. Like so. And also went and I've all connected this, I don't know what to call them, legs, whatever, antennas, and went around the shape of the wings with black line, like so. And I also, if I want, if I feel a shape is not working for me, I can decide to change it. So it's really up to you. So as you can see right now, I'm just going around the shape of the wing and changing if I feel like it. go same thing here A 
almost done. Yeah. Once again, if I think something need more definition, I can do it like so. The other thing that I've done is take a white marker. This one is Uniball Signal. I really like it. And I went around the shape very uh, loosely because that's how I like it. It's a matter of taste. If you like precise, you do precise. So I'm just adding, it's like adding highlights to the shape in some places. So again, very loosely around the shape and that's what I've done with the other dragonflies. And basically this is it for my page. I don't feel like I need anything more. Almost done. I just, and I, as I said, I was going to use gold, but decided last minute to go with white. And so this is it. That's my page. I hope you liked it and I hope you will try to do something like that. And now for the giveaway. Let us let me close this. So I've been working <laughs> hard on my evil plan of giveaway. And I figured that I am just tired and lazy to go each week to the post office. So what I've done, I've got here... 10 packages of giveaway so what it means is that everyone who wants to be in a giveaway and needs to leave a comment down below and i will just draw 10 a uh, 10 names out of uh, all the comments so next monday i will announce the 10 uh, names that are getting a giveaway and it's all kinds of stuff that you've seen me uh, make and so here it is lots and lots of stuff that's going to be in the giveaway and 10 of you are going to get it so the only thing you need to do is leave a comment down below Okay, that's it. That's my evil plan, and all this ten will go, will be announced next Monday. Sorry for the noise of all these uh, bags. <laughs> so I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.